The USAF has unveiled something truly magnificent, an aircraft that would transform the skies. Since the retirement of the legendary Blackbird, the United States has been developing a successor that not only matches, but surpasses its capabilities. With speed that is even more exceptional than the SR-71, and advanced technology designed to confront the most advanced threats, this new aircraft is set to dominate the skies. Its unparalleled power and innovation are set to revolutionize military operations worldwide. Just how advanced is this aircraft? How will it reshape the future of warfare? Join us as we explore the groundbreaking strengths of the U.S. top secret SR-72 Dark Star. 35 years ago this December, the government revealed a top secret spy plane that was so advanced it could fly to the edge of space and cross the country in just an hour. The aircraft, shaped like a needle, had powerful jet engines that pushed it 35 miles a minute. Made with Russian titanium and painted in a dark black color, it looked like something out of a science fiction movie. By the time the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was retired in 1989, it had made its mark in history for flying faster and higher than any other plane. Thinking of an aircraft that would replace this seemed unbelievable. But a while after its retirement, a brilliant aviation company came up with an idea. In 2019, the USAF revealed something extremely mind-blowing. An aircraft that would finally take over from the Blackbird, the SR-72. This aircraft, also known as the Son of Blackbird, is an American hypersonic unmanned aircraft idea designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. It was proposed by Lockheed Martin in 2013 as the replacement for the retired SR-71 Blackbird. In 2018, Lockheed Martin executives said a test version of the SR-72 could fly by 2025 and be ready for service in the 2030s. Although there were initial doubts about its existence, the SR-72 may have just gotten more proof that it exists and is moving closer to being ready for use. After working on it in secret for seven years, this aircraft finally announced it to the public in 2013. Along with the announcement, Lockheed Martin ran a media campaign, sharing interviews with Brad Leland, their hypersonics program manager, who had been leading the project for those seven years. Leland mentioned that a plane capable of flying extremely fast paired with hypersonic missiles could fly into enemy territory and strike nearly anywhere on a continent in under an hour. He believed speed would be the next big breakthrough in aviation, helping the U.S. face growing threats in the future. Let's delve into the capabilities of the Blackbird's successor. It all started when Paramount Pictures approached Lockheed Martin during the production of Top Gun, Maverick. They needed an aircraft so fast it would make their star, Maverick, the fastest man alive. But what the studio didn't know was that Lockheed Martin's secretive Skunk Works division was already working on something even more unbelievable, a top secret aircraft that would redefine the limits of speed, Skunk Works. The name itself sounds strange, doesn't it? Its origin goes back to the Second World War when a team of Lockheed engineers led by Kelly Johnson worked in a smelly tent near a plastic factory. Inspired by the comic strip Lil Abner and its Skunk Works factory, they adopted the name, which stuck. But don't let the odd name fool you. Skunk Works is responsible for some of the most advanced and deadly aircraft in the world, like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. But why was Lockheed Martin already working on this project? Since the retirement of the SR-71 in 1998, they had been chasing a dream to create a fighter that could exceed even the legendary Blackbird's speed. The SR-72, codenamed Dark Star, was their answer, and they weren't starting from scratch. They had learned valuable lessons from developing the hypersonic technology vehicle too, a rocket launch craft that soared at Mach 20. That knowledge would now be used to build something even more astonishing. Earlier this year, Lockheed Martin's Brad Leland hinted that the future of warfare would belong to speed. Hypersonic aircraft like the SR-72 could zip through restricted airspace and strike targets in less than an hour. This was more than just an idea. It was the next frontier in military aviation, a revolution as groundbreaking as stealth technology. The SR-72 is designed with materials stronger than the titanium skin of its predecessor. Carbon-carbon composites would allow it to handle intense heat at incredible speeds. And its capabilities didn't stop there. The Dark Star would be equipped with cutting-edge avionics, 
possibly even artificial intelligence, to assist in its hypersonic missions. This high-speed technology could shake things up, much like stealth technology does now. As mentioned earlier, the SR-72 would use a new kind of engine that could switch between different types to boost its performance. Leland explained that the engine would start with a regular turbofan, possibly from companies like Pratt and Whitney or General Electric, and allow the SR-72 to take off and reach supersonic speeds. But when the jet neared Mach 3, the second part of the engine would kick in, providing more power. This second part, a dual-mode ramjet, would use the fast-moving air to create shockwaves, which would compress the air and make the engine run even faster. AET Rocketdyne helped develop this engine, which was originally meant for the SR-72 to fly over Mach 6 for intelligence gathering and strike missions. The aircraft could carry bombs or missiles to hit ground targets. Brad Leland from Lockheed mentioned the plane could even be used to launch hypersonic missiles, although it's more likely it will carry cheaper weapons specifically designed for hypersonic speeds. The U.S. is working on several hypersonic missiles, but they are much more expensive than regular ones. Firing weapons at such high speeds is difficult because of the heat and pressure, but it's possible, as Lockheed showed with its YF-12, which fired air-to-air -air missiles above Mach 3. Unlike these spy planes, which fly below the speed of sound and rely on their location and time to collect data, the SR-72 would be much faster. For instance, the MQ-9 can stay in the air for more than 24 hours, but only flies at 230 miles per hour, meaning it would take over an hour to travel from New York to Boston. The SR-72 flying at Mach 6 could make that same trip in under five minutes and fly from New York to Los Angeles in about 30 minutes. But speed isn't the only thing that Dark Star has up its sleeve. The aircraft's agility is unmatched, capable of outmaneuvering anything in the sky. Its cockpit is designed to become one with the pilot, allowing for split-second decisions that could mean life or death. This is no ordinary aircraft. It's a predator, built to dominate the skies. Then there's its weaponry. Conventional bombs and missiles are too slow for an aircraft like the SR-72. Instead, it's armed with laser weapons, beams of light that can destroy targets with deadly precision. The aircraft's laser system boasts a power output of 350 kilowatts that can cut through inches of steel with terrifying ease. The Dark Star also has a design feature straight out of science fiction, a cockpit invisible from the front, much like the X-59. And just like in Top Gun Maverick, it uses synthetic vision to see what's ahead. In fact, a port on its fuselage is affectionately called R2-D2, a nod to the asterisk Star Wars asterisk droid, hinting at the advanced navigation systems on board. But the SR-72 isn't just about breaking records. It's being designed with the future battlefield in mind. Its hypersonic speed and stealth will give the U.S. a major advantage in any future conflict, especially with countries like Russia and China. Its rapid intelligence gathering and strike capabilities could change the way wars are fought, enabling the U.S. to strike fast, disappear, and leave adversaries helpless. There's one challenge, though, stealth. At hypersonic speeds, radar-absorbing materials can't handle the heat. The aircraft might leave a detectable trail, much like the SR-71 did. But with its speed, the Dark Star can outrun anything thrown at it making these concerns more theoretical than real. As for its future, the SR-72 is being considered for the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighter program. It will feature advanced sensors, laser weapons, and an open architecture that allows for easy upgrades, an aircraft designed not just for today, but for decades to come. The SR-72's greatest strength may be its ability to quickly gather intelligence on targets anywhere in the world, which would be very useful in conflicts across large areas like the Pacific. While satellites can watch the Earth constantly, they can't cover everything, and their orbits can be predicted, making it easier for enemies to hide. That's why the U.S. is developing advanced spy planes, including the RQ-1880, which remains largely secret. In June 2017, Rob Weiss from Skunk Works said they had completed testing the SR-72's engine and we're starting work on a research version of the plane. This version was about the size of an F-22 and could take off with a regular engine, break the sound barrier, and switch to a dual-mode scramjet to reach speeds over Mach 6. 
By September 2017, witnesses reported seeing this aircraft flying over Palmdale, California, where Skunk Works is based. In early 2018, another Skunk Works leader, Jack O'Ban, confirmed that the SR-72 was already flying successfully. However, when Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed new Mach 5 Plus missile systems in a speech later that year, it triggered a hypersonic arms race. After Putin's speech, Lockheed Martin stopped publicly talking about the SR-72, even removing information about it from their website. However, work continued behind the scenes. In 2022, Lockheed took a significant financial hit on a secret project, but later news revealed a contract had been adjusted, suggesting the project was still progressing. With costs now exceeding $335 million, the SR-72 project clearly has a substantial budget. A major clue that the SR-72 is moving into production is the new factory built at Skunk Works Palmdale site. This large facility, called Building 648, is designed to mass-produce hypersonic aircraft. Completed in 2021, the factory uses advanced technology like AI, augmented reality, and robots to speed up the production process. These robots were first used to build the X-59 test aircraft, and it seems Building 648 is now set to produce the SR-72. The future of aviation is quite exciting, and in a few years, the world would experience technologies that were once thought impossible, things that were only possible in movies. The United States is working on new aircraft that the world is not ready for. Let's explore some of the capabilities, though. Over the past year, both China and Russia have continued to improve their fighter jets. Russia is working on a new engine design for the Su-57, and China is upgrading its J-20 Mighty Dragon jet. These advancements highlight how important the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance program has become. Since 2015, the U.S. Congress has given more than $4.2 billion to the NGAD program to help replace or upgrade the F-22 jets by 2030. While there hasn't been much recent news about NGAD or the Navy's similar F-AXX program, there's still a lot to learn about NGAD's progress. The main goal of NGAD is to create new technologies that ensure air superiority, meaning the U.S. would have control in the sky during battles without facing major threats from enemy planes or missiles. While NGAD aims to replace the F-22, it also focuses on developing a variety of technologies that ensure continued dominance in the air. Air superiority, as defined by the Department of Defense, is having enough control in the air to carry out missions without serious interference from enemy forces. The NGAD program might create a single new aircraft or a combination of systems, which could include manned, unmanned, or even cyber and electronic components. These designs may be very different from traditional fighter jets. Currently, there is no sign that the Air Force is building a traditional fighter jet meant for close dogfights. However, in June 2022, the Air Force reported that NGAD's technologies had advanced enough for the program to move into the next phase, focusing on engineering, manufacturing, and design. The Air Force has revealed that it's developing four key technologies as part of the NGAD program. These includes the propulsion system. The Air Force is investing in advanced engines through the Advanced Engine Technology Program. The goal is to boost power generation and improve cooling at the same time. Another aspect that makes it stand out is its uncrewed systems. In 2022, the Secretary of the Air Force, Frank Kendall, confirmed that uncrewed aircraft are being developed to support NGAD. While the Air Force hasn't shared details, Experts think these drones could be used for intelligence, electronic warfare, or carrying extra weapons. Also, the NGAD program is exploring new composite materials and structures. The Air Force's budget for 2022 mentions using low-cost designs and manufacturing methods, especially for uncrewed vehicles. This next-generation fighter is likely focused on creating advanced radar, infrared sensors, and improved cameras. In terms of budget, in June 2022, NGAD requested 1.6 billion 2022 for 2023, with plans to spend 11.7 billion dollars between 2024 and 2027. Secretary Kendall further revealed that each aircraft will cost hundreds of millions of dollars. What aviation company is in charge of overseeing the development of this futuristic aircraft? To answer that, several companies are working on NGAD, though the Air Force hasn't announced contractors yet. In May, 
it sent out a classified call for contract bids and plans to award contracts in 2024. Lockheed Martin and Boeing are expected to be top contenders, with Textron and General Atomics also involved. This sixth-generation fighter is also part of the Air Force's effort to redesign its acquisition process. This new approach aims to separate contracts for design, production, and maintenance, allowing more companies, even those not traditionally involved in military aviation, to participate. The push for a new process may come from lessons learned with the F-35 program, the most expensive weapon system in DOD history, costing over $1.7 trillion. While over 900 F-35s have been delivered, the program has faced delays in technology development and added maintenance costs, partly due to problems with the cooling system. For the next few years, NGAD will likely stay focused on research, with plans to get production aircraft or systems ready around 2030. Even if the NGAD flight model becomes ready for production, it could still take several years to set up the necessary factories because of complex manufacturing steps. Plus, things like budget limits or pressure from Congress could slow down the process. There are other similar programs besides NGAD. The Navy is working on its own program, FA-6, which has asked for $9 billion for a new fighter jet. Retaining the FA designation, the FAXX is presented as an upgrade rather than a completely new aircraft. It features advanced stealth design elements, such as planar separation and hidden engine fan blades to reduce radar detectability. The jet will have internal weapon storage, including a primary bay for various munitions and hypersonic missiles, enhancing its stealth profile. This air fighter will integrate sophisticated AI for data management, flight control, and coordination with drones, effectively making it a combat hub. It will feature a custom helmet for pilots instead of a traditional heads-up display, improving situational awareness. The jet is expected to have superior maneuverability and utilize an adaptive cycle engine capable of switching between high thrust and fuel efficiency. Designed with heavy-duty landing gear for carrier operations, the f 8 may also include thrust vectoring and canards for enhanced performance and maneuverability. The aircraft may feature an optional unmanned capability, allowing it to sustain higher G-forces and act as a drone commander. The XX in its name indicates the lack of a specific number, while the FA designation underscores its attack mission focus aligning it with the legacy of the F-A-18 Hornet and Super Hornet. This new air fighter aims for an open architecture design, allowing various sensors, payloads, and weapons to be swapped in and out to suit different mission needs on different days or sorties. This design will likely depend on the new propulsion systems developed by the aircraft industry. While the Navy is collaborating with the U.S. Air Force to develop a next-generation tactical fighter with supercruise capabilities, there is a significant disagreement about whether the Air Force's adaptive cycle jet engine technology, which adjusts bypass and compression airflow for better efficiency, can be effectively scaled for a carrier-based fighter. The Chief of Naval Operations, Jonathan Greenert, suggested in February that the aircraft would not primarily focus on speed or stealth like older jets due to advancements in detection and anti-aircraft weapons. Instead, it would rely on a mix of stealth, technology, maneuverability, and speed, along with a variety of advanced weapons to overpower enemy defenses and ensure survivability and dominance. One approach might involve a cost-effective f ax equipped with expensive, high-performance weapons to counter threats. According to the Navy's Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter Air concept, the aircraft wouldn't need all sensors on board, but would use data from other sources for targeting and guiding weapons. It would be designed to carry missiles, have systems for directed energy weapons, and sensors for targeting small radar cross-section targets, and include cyber warfare capabilities at a tactical level as part of a broader system. Allies of the U.S., such as France, Germany, Britain, Italy, Spain, and Japan, are also spending a lot of money on their next-generation fighter jets. The future combat air system is the Air Superiority Program used by the French, German, and Spanish militaries. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.